Good afternoon. My name is Greg Clark. I am a working partner of Joe's, and I am going to do a demo instruction of some locating equipment. So this equipment is from a company called Leica, and this is the XF series, the Digicat series. Now, a lot of different companies sell locator equipment, and the reason that I rep for this company and I sell this equipment is because it comes out of Switzerland, and they have that top-notch engineering. But one of the things over there in Europe, their taxpayers don't pay for that service 811. So no one's going to come out and check to see if there's something under the ground for them. So every contractor, whether it's a plumber, electrician, general contractor, has to have this equipment to make sure there's nothing in the ground when they dig or excavate or whatnot. So the whole purpose, their whole main mission is to make sure that this is user-friendly, easy to use, easy to understand, is going to locate accurately and be precise. So that's the whole thing with Leica. And so what we have right here is the actual locator itself. It's a multi-frequency locator. So this is going to locate your camera sound as well as other frequencies so that we can locate underground power lines, telephone lines, gas lines, clip it to a metal pipe, clip it to a cast iron flange for a toilet, and just be able to trace the entire line without having to just find the camera head. So there's lots of uses. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna locate a gas line, and then we're gonna go ahead and go over the camera stuff and, and all the other details of uh, this, this awesome equipment. Okay, so that box that you were just looking at, right here, it's called the transmitter box. It's the 100T. And uh, so what this does is it allows us to locate multiple frequencies. So there's two ways to locate. We can locate deductively. We clip these cables to the machine and then to our tracer wire for a gas, um, a metal pipe if it's a water line, um, a faucet, anything that's metal, to the toilet flange, and it'll send a signal through the entire line, and then you can just easily, accurately trace where the line is going and get an accurate depth. So the first thing I will do is I will locate inductively so I don't have to plug anything in. And what happens is the box will send a signal into the ground directly into the tracer wire. All right, so you simply turn it on. All right, and it, there it's telling us our signal. I'm gonna change the signal strength to the high power signal and we can hit this here just to turn off that sound. Now if you look closely here, it's telling me frequency. So there's a 33 kilohertz and then there's an eight kilohertz. There's these other frequencies as well. This box will not locate these frequencies. There's really no need for someone in our, in our industry to locate at a 512 frequency and a 640 frequency with this box. What those frequencies do is they allow you to trace a line for up to a couple miles. Um, the locator itself, the wand, does the 512 to get the camera, so we don't really need to pay the extra three, four hundred dollars for the upgraded box because it's something that uh, you know you're never going to use, so no need to pay for it. <laughs> all right, so you can see here this this is that it's sending out this signal. All right, if I turn it around just so that I can see these arrows, it's saying put it up here on the box. I'm going to lean it right up against my gas line, and there's my tracer wire right there. I'm going to go grab my locator, and we'll start the trace. All right, so here's my locator. Like This is the 550i. I put the box on 33. So we can see here, let me get over here into the sun. You can see a little bit better. Uh, if I hit this button here on the side, it changes the, uh, the frequencies. So you see it's picking up because the box is sending out that signal. Now, when we locate inductively without the cables, you want to stand about six to eight feet away from the box because it's sending out that signal. I know that my gas line runs uphill, so I'm just gonna start from right here. Simply put on my camera, and as you can see, there it is right there. I move back, you see my signal. I'm gonna move slowly up. When it hits my peak signal and gives me that sound, I know that's exactly where it is. Then I go ahead and push this uh, button right here, hold down this, um, red button and that's going to give me my depth. Okay, it's 3.5 inches right there. And as I move it off, just keep going back and forth this way. Just this sweep. I know it's going this direction, so I'm not going to walk this way with it. That doesn't help me at all. Go back and forth this way. All right, find it. You know, you'd spray paint or put a stone there or something. 
move a few feet and just go back and forth. And I can just trace this all the way to the street, up through the house, you know, wherever it's going. So we locate that way inductively. Pretty convenient. If you don't have a tracer wire um, to clip something to, you can just put this over the line of the pipe. But uh, if you know there's a corrugated pipe in the line or in the in the ground or a, a metal water pipe, you just put the box anywhere on the ground, it sends a signal, and you go from there. Um, I'll go ahead and go over the cables real quick. Alright, so simply with the cables, plugs into the side. It comes with a grounding rod. Stick it in, give it the ground. As you can see here, it says I'm connected. Red goes to the metal tracer wire or whatever it is. If you don't have a good ground, um, we've here on the sound, it, uh, it'll start flashing if there's not a good ground, things like that. So you can leave the sound on and let you know you have a good ground. All right, so we're grounded. Now with inductively, I had to stand eight, 10 feet away because it sent out the signal. This is actually a little bit better because I don't have to stand anywhere. I can stand right next to it and it's fine. Um, I'm gonna keep it on the, the 33. Again, I'm just right here, you know, and it's telling me, you know, I can start to locate right there. You know, there's my signal, my peak spot. And once you find that peak spot, you know, then you just drop down and you get your depth. Inductively is a very great way to do it. Um, like I said, you can do this with uh, um, power lines. You can put the box and do it that way. You can trace telephone wires, all types of things. Now on the locator itself, there is a setting where we can just trace underground power. So if we can see here, I'll turn it on. And this uh, frequency button here, see there's my 512 for my camera. 640 we're not gonna use. Um, there's a little electric lightning bolt. That's gonna trace underground power. Uh, the next one looks like a telephone wire, a telephone pole. Um, that's going to trace underground utilities um, with a you know 50 hertz frequency, things like that for uh, telephone wires, that type of thing. Let me go ahead and pull the camera out, and we'll show how we can trace and find the camera head. All right, now camera locating, pretty simple, right here on the on the box, and you just hit the frequency until you go to the 512. There's my camera over there. Now the frequency, it's uh. It's going to read very strong right now because these locators take into account that it's in the ground um, and whatnot. So it's going to register fairly quickly. And my depth might not be exactly accurate because it's, uh, it's on top. You know, and it, it's finding that signal immediately. Once I get right over it, it says 9999 because it's right there. Um, you know, but it gives us that, that signal very quickly. But then you would just locate the depth, hold it down. Uh, it basically is saying the signal's too strong because I'm too close to it. You know, like I said, it takes into account and ground and things like that. Um, I picked it up a little bit. It said 1.4, you know, one one foot four inches. But yeah, the locate on the camera is very simple. So it's a 512, and you just simply sweep back and forth. You go with your bar up and down, and you also go with the number. So as I'm going to step back, you'll see that my numbers, the numbers are going to drop. You know, so. The closer you get, you're going to go with those numbers, not just the sound. See, those numbers get higher and higher and higher. Then I'm right over it, and it's at the, the high number. Okay, now, one of the things about direction. So, when we're tracing the sound, we might be getting a high number right here. Okay? So, we know that it's over this way. But with this locator, if I turn it this direction, the numbers are actually going to increase. Alright, so the locate, the camera... Um, is going in line with the locator. When you're locating the gas and things like that, it's actually going at a 90 degrees. So, the camera, I'm here, I turn it, the numbers increase, and it's gonna be the exact opposite when doing power lines or tracing gas lines, things like that. The numbers would be lowest going this way, turn it that way would give you the higher number. That's just how fre these frequencies register with this type of equipment, regardless of what brand it is. So now one of the other benefits of, uh, of locating the camera um, using the box is we can put the box directly on top of the line and we can activate this entire line and just trace the line instead of just tracing the camera head itself. Let me show you how that works. All right, so I'm gonna take my box and I'm gonna set it directly over the line of this camera. Now I'm gonna take 
I'm gonna set this on the highest signal strength and then I'm gonna set this one to uh, 33 kilohertz you can do 33 or 8 now like I said you're gonna get a, about six to eight feet away and I'm gonna set my uh, my sound get out of the Sun here so that you can see my sound to the uh, to the 33 okay and you can see it's already picking it up but this hair as I walk closer to it you know we're gonna start getting the higher signal strength um, and really it's gonna go off the numbers so let's see if you can see it's kind of hard for me to see it so right now it's so in uh, there you go there you can see it so how it's 36039 I'm a little bit past it now I'm gonna bring it back a little bit more but I'm gonna go this way is away from it so on this way it's gonna be the numbers tracing that signal okay so we're down over here you know it's gonna be picking up that signal right now it's on 115 it's going to get higher and higher and higher, 120, 110. So it doesn't matter what the number is, it just matters what the highest number is. So you can just activate and trace the entire camera instead of just tracing the head. Because if you're tracing the head, what you got to do is put it 10 feet, find the head, mark it, 10 feet, find the head, mark it, 10 feet, find the head, and mark it. Of course, if it's a metal pipe, you can just clip the box directly to the pipe, or you can even use one of the sewer machines run your cable down there 100 feet and then take the clips clip them directly to the uh, the sewer cable and then trace the entire line that way so it doesn't have to be a metal line if it's plastic run that sewer machine and then trace it that way so there's lots of benefits to having the box and the locator all right so price wise surprisingly enough for the quality of this stuff um, it's actually very competitive it's uh, less expensive than the stuff you can get from uh, electric eel so the locator itself is a uh, $13.95 and then the box is $880 and then the carry bag is about 110 bucks there is tax so it's about $2,500 for the entire package um, this same type of setup with electric eel is gonna run about 32 um, with rigid you know it's about 48 um, you know with this locator with the additional frequencies and all that so there's really a lot of benefits going with Leica there's the precision and the accuracy and the easy to read and then, then there's the price. I hope that this video has been helpful. Um, before I go, I will just show you how to trace a power line. I know that right over there in my driveway, power line goes straight through it. So I'm just gonna turn this on. I'm gonna set this to the, uh, uh, to that little lightning bolt thing. I think you can see it. And as, as we move this way, my numbers, of course, will start going up here in just a second, and we're finding our power line. So when Mr. Uh, Comcast or Cox Cable or whatever comes out and they need to dig, they use this, they find the power line, they mark, you know, and it continues to run through the street. You know, you run this direction back and forth, they find the gas with one of these and with the box, and, uh, and that's how they do it. Um, again, with telephone, you have the... Uh, set up with uh looks like a little uh power station you know and it's going to do telephone at buried utilities like that fiber optic so really with this equipment um you know you can do multiple multiple things and it's definitely worth the purchase um again i hope this has been helpful if you have any questions you can call joe or you can just call me direct uh 678-897-8676 Again, like I said, Joe and I are partners, so we work together. Um, you're welcome to give me a call anytime, and I can answer any questions you might have, or uh, send you any literature on this equipment. That would be just fine. Um, hope you have a great day, and thanks for listening.